Okay, so scientific notation is a system for writing very large or very small numbers. And we have an exponent that tells us how many times we have to move the decimal place to get our number into this format x point y times 10 to the z. All right, let's try it. So it says we write the following numbers in scientific notation. We're going to count how many times we're moving the decimal place to get to uh, 7.4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And because this is a number that is less than 1, we will write our number as uh, times 10 to the negative fifth because we've moved the decimal place five times and of course we're making it a number that is smaller than one so our exponent is negative we're going to need to move the decimal in this part b all the way here to between the five and the nine so how many times do we have to do that one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. We're moving the decimal place 11 times, and it's a number that is greater than 1, so our exponent is positive. Same thing with part C. We're trying to move the decimal to here, 2.9. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've moved our decimal place 8 times, and our answer is greater than 1, so our exponent is positive. Here in part D, we have an answer that is smaller than 1, and we want to move our decimal to blank point blank. So we're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And because it is smaller than 1, our answer is, our exponent is negative. That's all you do. Here in number 2, these numbers are in scientific notation. We are going to write them in long form. So, in other words, we've moved this decimal three times. It apparently was originally here, so our original number is 7,050. Here is an exponent that we have moved seven times, and it's a number that is smaller than one. So if it was moved seven times to get here, that means that it was originally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means we have all of these zeros preceding. So uh, if we're looking at it backwards, the way we did this one is by moving the decimal place seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a negative number, so our uh, answer is smaller than one. Here is one where we have moved the decimal place four times to here, that meant it had to originally have been here. That means 23500, zero, zero. and of course you can put a comma there if you want. Oh, here's a big one. This one is negative 11. That means it's a number smaller than 1. To get to this 9, it has to have been moved from its original place 11 times. So I'm going to write it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That means each of these is a 0. And what we'll do is we'll count them up and make sure that we have all the right decimal places here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's what our original number looked like. All right, here we are, number three. It says, please perform the following calculation and express the answer in scientific notation. Your calculator is pretty good at doing this kind of thing all by itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoot this over here so we can see it better. All right, let's put this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say 0 0.002115. We're going to multiply that by 0 0.000405. Let's multiply this out. And your calculator has already written the answer in scientific notation. Remember that your calculator is trying to tell you what the exponent is with this e. That's how we're entering this into our calculator. So our answer 8.56 times 10 to the negative 8. And because we multiplied meters by meters, this is now meters squared.
All right, number four says a sample of a certain material has a mass of 2.03 times 10 to the negative third grams. It is asking us to calculate the volume if the density is 9.133 times 10 to the negative 1. So this triangle tells us that if we want to find volume, it's equal to mass over density. They give us the mass. We have 2.03 times 10 to the negative third grams. We're dividing this by the density, 9.133 times 10 to the negative 1 grams per cubic centimeter. When we do this, grams cancels, leaves our answer in cubic centimeters, which is what we want because we want this to be a volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my calculator and we'll multiply these out. Excuse me. In this case, divide 2.03. Now we're going to enter this exponent times 10 to the negative 3 using our calculator's exponent entry function. That's this button right here, but you need to hit second first. That E lights up. It tells us we are entering our exponent, so all you have to do is hit negative 3. We're going to divide this by 9.133 and we want our exponent to be negative 1, so I'm going to hit exponent entry, negative 1. It's going to give us our answer, and it did not give us our answer in scientific notation, and because this question doesn't specify, we can simply write it like that, point, uh, zero, I turn that off too quick, point zero two, zero zero two two. So we'll say point zero zero two two if you want to write this in scientific notation here's the trick how many times we move in the decimal place one two three that means we could rewrite this as two point two times ten to the negative three centimeters cubed okay last one it says our large office building has a length of one point zero seven times ten to the two meters it is 31 meters wide, and it is 4.25 times 10 to the second meters high. If the formula for volume is length times width times height, calculate the volume. That means our length, 1.02 times 10 to the 2 meters. And there's the homeroom bell. Hopefully you guys are not late. Get to class. you got a minute. 31 meters is our width, and 4.25 times 10 to the second meters is our height. Well, let's bust out our calculator. That's what it's for. And let's get this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to say 1.02 times 10 to the second. We're going to multiply this by 31. No scientific notation there. And we're going to multiply this by 4.25 times 10 to the second. Gives us our answer. Remember that we are multiplying meters by meters by meters, so that means this is now meters cubed. And look at our answer. It says 1343850. That's 1,343,850. And that's all you do. If you want to get that in scientific notation, it is 1.3 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Stand for prayer. Bye.